It's total poetry, it really is. This is the path and entrance to Volcano Garden Arts in the old historic home. And uh, these trees uh, are over 100 years old, the Suki pine trees. And then I put in the uh, bamboo and the um, lychee. There's, uh, yeah, there's some other lovely trees. This is a magnolia tree. And this path will take you uh, to the main entrance of the building. And along the way, you'll see my bonsai collection. I've been collecting these bonsais for a number of years. Some are dormant and other ones have been here for years. And they like living outdoors. Yes, unfortunately, well, I don't, I don't want to say unfortunately, but these end up being uh, office ornaments, desk ornaments for really rich guys. Uh, yeah, well, <laughs> these are much happier because they are in the forest. And then this is the main building. Well, this is the uh, old building, and we're heading to uh, Cafe Ono, our award-winning restaurant. And I think you'll enjoy it. We're number one on TripAdvisor and number one on Yelp, and everything is made from scratch. Wow. Yeah. Is it sort of like a farm-to-table? Uh, is it sort of like a farm-to-table kind of deal? Uh, Sort of, yeah. Okay. Uh, most of the produce is all locally produced. There's a lovely farm up here, and we're always on the lookout. Uh, yeah, everything is made from scratch, and uh, the recipes are my recipes, and um, people really enjoy it. All right. Well, welcome to Cafe Ono. Yeah. All right, thank you very much. I I recognize this uh, photograph here. I've seen it. Ah, uh, yes, that's uh, one of our artists, Don Slocum. And um, this is the caldera and the volcano two years ago. What was going on with it? This is some of the local products that we have here. Most everything is uh, created here on the Big Island and uh, your uh, Hawaiian salts, coffees, jams. And these are, again, all locally made products. Very nice.
And then this is the main gallery where we have uh, over uh, 50 artists. And throughout the gallery, there are over 100 local artists from all over the state. Wow. It's, it's quite a collection. Wow, wow, wow. I used to collect these when I was a kid, you know, these... Uh... Oh, they're very collectible. <laughs> Back then, they were still made in Hawaii. Uh, these are, you're right, these are made in these, Hawaii. These, yeah, everything you have is, it is yeah, made locally. But, uh, you're, you're right, yeah. yeah. And then uh, you're going to be seeing the ceramic, these are my masks, the ceramic right. masks. Uh, I've been doing those for many years. And they're inspired by living in the rainforest for the last 30 years. And these are my latest and greatest sculpture. These are called the Pueo, the Hawaiian Owl. Now let's keep going. Yeah. The place just rambles. So I love uh, finding new artists, discovering them, and then placing them here in the gallery. And so we get visitors from all over the world that come up to see the Volcano Hawaii National Park. And of course, by now, they need a place to eat. So they'll look up on their phone, and Cafe Ono is very well reviewed. And then they come for lunch and shop here at the gallery. And it's quite a collection. And then these, these are my personal, uh, yeah, there's my uh, masks. And then uh, this series is uh, uh, are my collages, my mixed media collages. There's another gallery I'd like to show you. Oh, okay. There's this uh, smaller gallery that was once one of the kitchens in the in the uh, in the building. There were two kitchens here. And this is one of them. Ah. And we have lovely products in here. Um, 
it's an interesting collection. And then, of course, this room, these were all bedrooms at one point. And um, now they're just filled with interesting objects and art. This is a wonderful uh, porch to come out here and have a cup of coffee or tea. And it has a lovely view of the garden. state and all the plantings and water features and everything you've seen today I put in over the years mm. and uh, it's pretty self-sufficient now and we're up at 4,000 feet in a native Hawaiian rainforest and so many of the plants are not tropical it's something you'd see in Northern California mm. and people love to sit out here uh, and have lunch We have two lovely rescued bunnies. Ah, uh, come okay. say hello. Hi, everybody. How are you? Very good. Nice seeing you again. How are you? How are you doing? I'm enjoying the rabbits. Oh yeah, there's two of them. This is uh, Mar. Uh, this is uh, Timothy. He's new. Oh, okay. And then hiding somewhere is his girlfriend. Oh, right there. And. Uh, these are rescued rabbits. I think they've done quite well for themselves. And that's Timothy the rabbit. And as I mentioned, he's done quite well for himself. And we're on our way to the uh, teapot garden which is being renovated today. <laughs> ah. And this is a collection of teapots that I've had for many, many years. That's Kathy. Say hello, Kathy. Hello. How you doing? And this is a wonderful collection. And uh, what I like about this is that since we're at uh, in Hawaii, these beautiful uh, ceramic pieces can be outside. And children love looking in this garden. It's very, uh, it's just total full of fantasy. And again, I'm always on the lookout for more. It definitely brings collection. to mind Alice in Wonderland. The tea party. The teapot garden. 
<laughs> We're gonna go now uh, to my sanctuary, our tree sanctuary. Hey, yeah. It's right through here. This site on the property was created over 60 years ago by the original owners. And what they did is they uh, planted all these pine trees in the shape of a room. And it's very magical in there. And we have weddings and ceremonies and all manner of things. So, yeah, so come on in. I love these Chinese. These uh, are lovely palm tree, uh, pine these trees. Pine trees. And then I planted the bamboo. Yeah. And they're doing quite well here. This is very, I'm very much into Asian arts. Yes. This ceramic sculpture comes from China and it's all hand thrown. And I found it a number of years ago and it just is beautiful in this particular setting. It's the thing about China, they have, they still have thousands of real artisans and make things, still make nearly everything by hand. Yeah, I know. Yeah, and this too is all hand thrown, all hand carved. One gets a real sense of peace in this space. And we've had, as I mentioned, beautiful weddings and ceremonies and Tai Chi classes. And uh, it's full of native bird song. It's, it's very special. Oh, there's a nice feature right to the left. I call it an offering house, and we have a lovely Buddha in it. And then the bamboo is lovely. I planted that years ago, and it's doing quite well. This tree uh, is 100 years old. It's a Sugi pine tree from Japan. They grow at this climate at, and this altitude at 4,000 feet. And uh, the rock work that you see all around it uh, was put in with native uh, lava rocks and then river rocks and ocean rocks for over the year, many years. 
and it has a wonderful quality. That is a really cool looking tree. Isn't that cool? Yeah. And we have a, you'll notice a tree goddess at the base of it. And this is a lovely place to have a cup of tea. And then all of this rock work was done uh, over the many years that I've been here. These three wise men are made out of ceramics. Uh, they come from China and they live here in the garden. And uh, they have, each one of them has much symbolism of good fortune and longevity and prosperity. So they're very happy here. Aloha everyone. Thank you so much for visiting Volcano Garden Arts. And we're open year round, every day. And the cafe is open from uh, 11 to two. And we're open six days a week. We're closed on Monday. So please come by and join us, have lunch and enjoy the garden. And we're so happy that you were able to experience this beautiful old estate. Aloha. Mm -hmm.